Hi, we're live in the sky with Paige Harvey and Will Flanagan, community managers here at Frontier Developments. <laughs> Welcome to our Monday Let's Play live stream. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to today's live stream. Will is in a helicopter. I, I wanted to, I put these on and I thought, oh, it kind of reminds <laughs> me of this time uh, when I was in a helicopter and I was, uh, I was a journalist. <laughs> and what, I, in another life? Or? In another life. Okay. Um, and okay. we were responsible for flying around the, the uh, region. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know. Um, oh. Someone's just uh, mentioned um, your your top. Yeah. Uh, what you can't see is that page is covered with acrylic paint. Oh yeah, there's there's paint all over my shirt. There's my my leggings are covered in paint. I just. You've been. Um... Yeah, but Will is uh, hollow holographic. He's I've just got... empty. So my body's disintegrated. I've only got my hands. I'm like rain. Oh man. no. Uh, right. Let's cut to the game while everyone can see this. My bad. How, howdy, everybody, and Hi, welcome. Hi, I nearly crashed. My bad. We are 32 inches across Shan's screen. Oh. So you've got giant versions of us. Um, Fair enough. These keep your ears very warm. They are very toasty, yes. Uh, OK, let's uh, let's land before I crash into the, uh, the station again. I'm going to bring it all back. So, guys, welcome to our Monday Let's Play live stream. This is, a, this is our slot where we come onto the live streams. We play some Elite Dangerous and we talk to you guys. Uh, so this is going to be the same as our, our every other Monday stream that we do. Yeah. Uh, Paige is taking the reins of the game like last, mm -hmm. last week. Yeah. I think. Um, while I'm, I'm here to either try and sass her in the kind of equal capacity Very that much so, yes. Paige is able to, uh, and also uh, read out your comments, answer your questions, and just have a general chit chat. Yes, um, a nice time. So we have, uh, we okay. have, who do we have in the chat right now? We have Beep. Commander Ascorbius, Plater is here, ah. Jester D, Tyler Matheson, um, L Snake. Venka 8787 um, and there's loads of other lot of you there's loads of other lot of you it's Monday I'm sleepy it's Monday it's it's been I'm a day sleepy. also Plater shouldn't you be asleep no well Plater's been asleep for a while yeah I think you probably he's chilled now I, d I don't know I need like a, a day's sleep after Tyler all. says seriously a type 6 well the reason for the Type All 6 ships is... ships viable. No, the reason for the Type 6 is that the uh, ring of uh, systems that I'm in only have medium um, pads. They don't have any large pads. Uh, the, well, in fact, there's one station, I think, that has large pads, and they give crap missions. So I'm going to all the medium ones that where they... That was a curse. Where, <sighs> it's in Harry Potter, it's allowed. Page just cursed. Uh, well, I'm allowed. Um, and so I'm going to all the ones with my Type 6 because it's got the, the best uh, sort of cargo space of all the medium ships that I can get at the minute. <sighs> and so we're going with that. Seeing a few questions about uh, Tope Cobra errors. Yes. If you are getting those, make sure you do report it via the issue tracker um, so they can be properly investigated and chased up. I don't have any information about uh, that particular uh, error right now. Um, but if you haven't seen, last week we did announce that we are uh, going to be releasing a um, oh. corrective patch, the second one for the September update yes. this week. As soon as we have more details and patch notes, we'll post them out for you guys. Yep, so yeah, there is a, there is a fix coming for a bunch of issues. We'll mm -hmm. let you know what those issues are as soon as we have the full list. I can see credits in there. I've got Stop to, hoarding credits in your oh, chest. It's a capacity. What are you, Crichton? You've got 112... 112 tons spaces. of... <laughs> so you can see that here. Um, and, of course, it has been a weekend. So what has everybody been up to? We've actually been on a live stream we have, this yes. weekend. Uh, Commander Plater raised 7.8 thousand. No, 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 no. 8,000. 8, Jester saw it and was like, mm -mm, no. no we've and got to get uh, that bumped to it up. Yeah. So, uh, so 8,000 8, pounds. Um, for charity. Which is four times as much as he wanted to raise. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, that's amazing. And they smashed the target in, mm -hmm. in a very short amount of, amount of time. So bravo to you to, and well everybody done. involved because there are a lot of people there. Yeah, uh, just it was a good time. In. Right, so I'm currently looking for missions that give me the most cash for the least amount of work possible. 
That's all. That's all good. That's yeah. the best way. Because uh, I'm saving up for a crate mark two, which you know I'll, I'll, I'll be able to afford fairly soon. It's just obviously I want to afford some uh, some upgrades for it as well. And and if we're talking how we play Elite Dangerous, I think we we've identified the strands of what you'll see on these live streams. Mm. So we've got Stephen who's sort of engaging with combat and um, boldly claiming he's going to learn flight assist off. <laughs> Bravo Despite to him. Despite being too afraid to do it so far. Yeah. Uh, I've been dab dabbling in trading, uh, yeah. rank gain, and um, engineering, and material gathering. And Paige, uh, probably the, the nicest of them all, is just playing <laughs> for fun. And you're just kind of delving into this and that yep. whenever you feel like it. I do whatever makes me happy. And right now, uh, I just want a crate mark two which I want to be able to use for scavenging. So once I actually get that ship, I will be working on some, some engineering, things like that, uh, which I've done a bit of, but not in my personal games. So yeah, this is your personal account. We, yes. on, these, on these live streams, we play with our personal accounts. Yeah, hence why I've got no cash or anything else. 24 million, it's what I've been earning during the, during the uh, lunchtime streams. So I'm going to Cremona in Jula for that one. So is anyone else wanting to go to Jula? anyone else stuff because I see a lot of people play and they want to make the most amount of money make for their time money. which is fine it's just not how I play yeah. I, I'm just like yeah like right now I'm working for money but I'm not going to do something that pays really well if I'm not going to enjoy it sure that's fair so that's why you know I'm not going uh, you... fighting or anything like that hey look I'm a count you're a count count Harvey <laughs> of uh, Dittmar Ring there you go there. Oh, I don't know who this person is Oh well, that's fine. There we go. You've got a friend now. Right. You need an Asp Explorer. Ooh. I don't want an Asp Explorer. I'm happy with my Type 6. It's a bit of a brick, but I quite like it. Um, Ascorbius was also a little bit upset because he wanted to see the green hair to see how it clashes with the green hair. The green screen. hair was a terrible day-long experiment that I this. did not enjoy. And so, uh, uh, and so I put a rose gold tint on it. So it's a little bit pink, a little bit yellow. For the record, though, it did look really good. It didn't. It did look good. It gave me flashbacks to being 15. Both Sally and I looked at it and we were like, you know what? It looks good. But oh, I'm still locked onto Dittmar Ring. I'm getting distracted by green hair. Cosmic green. No. Uh, commanders out there. Commanders, commanders. I always say it differently. It depends. Commander. Commanders. What have you guys been up to over the weekend? Because it's been a weekend. Yes. It has been a whole week since we've been. No, it's not technically true. No, it's not. You were on a not live for you, stream. anyway. It's, it's great. You guys are all over the place now, so I keep thinking, oh, I've, I've seen everybody every week, but I haven't been on a live stream for a week, maybe yeah. two. Yeah, it's been about two. I won't be on next Mondays. No, nope, you won't. So, or Thursdays. Go. Or Thursdays. Get off my streams, boy. Yeah, so actually, it's, really, it's a really exciting week because Paige is hosting the next Discovery Scanner. <gasps> yeah, it's my first Discovery Scanner, which I'm very much looking yeah, forward to. Yeah, your first, to. and you've got, um, well, you've got Paola mm -hmm. from, from the audio team here, mm -hmm. and you've got... Uh, two voice uh, voice actors, Jay and Amelia, right? Yes. And they do live streams. You may have seen they them. They do live streams. They've been in Elite Dangerous. They've been in a number of other things. Both of them on their websites have uh, show reels. Uh, but yeah, Jay and Amelia together, they're either wonderful or terrible. Terrible that they're arguing with each other, or wonderful that they're just cracking jokes. So you do kind of have to just... Uh, Are you going to be able to rein them in? I'm going to put them on either sides of me so <laughs> I can sit there, you know, like, you know an angry mother yeah and then like, you can just come on, step children. in between them like this is really strange yeah. to look at stop looking at it oh. it's got i'm representing the spider-man games oh Ugh, which why? is the weasel rat oh this is going to hurt your ears everybody sorry why would weasel you try rat. and interdict me thanks science which is green trying to there uh, right, what have we got? This is Elk, useless interdicting. Elk Pels 89 says, done a lot of exploring this weekend. Saw a storm cloud for the first time. Nice. Really liked the storm cloud. Very nice. But did you see the ones with the lightning or just the big clouds? What yeah, did, did you, you see? Yeah. Cause yes, tell us. Go and find one of those. Uh, Kerton has been, I've been ranking up the feds and deep core mining. Mm -hmm. Very good what as well. What have got? Do, do, do. So, yeah, they are nice between each other's backs. I've, I've hung out with them a couple of times. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> it's not, not uh, jovial poking. Until you talk not. about LARPing, then it gets serious. Oh. Why? What's that about? Oh, because they will start pretty much LARPing right there on the spot. Oh my they God. both like go, oh, this is the character I played, and I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Great. 
that's good times. Yeah, that's fun. But yeah, we'll be discussing sort of the importance of good voice acting in games. We've all heard great voice acting. Yeah. We've all heard amateur voice acting, and so we're going to talk to some professional voice actors Which about you know. Me. <laughs> And me, actually. I've done a fair bit myself and I'm not particularly great at it. Uh, Saffron says you should get the green <laughs> face mask and you have no head and only body with headset. Oh, that could work. Well, Halloween's coming up. Halloween's coming up. <laughs> Is that what you're just, like, testing for right now? I might, yeah, I might. Um, we might bring <laughs> this back, but in a better capacity. Yeah. I might even have a morph suit back. I'm pretty like, sure we have a couple of morph suits. Yeah. I swear Ed bought them and then just I remember stuck seeing a floating Ed head. That, I do remember that yeah. a long time ago. Oh, I think that was for one of his Bisquiz. Oh, it might have been, yeah. I yeah. think it was a Halloween Bisquiz. Um, Vichslav Karinsky, I'm sorry, I've probably said your name <laughs> awfully, I've butchered that. I, I leaped 25,000 light years from the expedition back to the bubble and going back into the black Damn. to rejoin with the expedition. Hell of a weekend. Nice, that sounds like good that, job. Yeah, that sounds a lot of time travelled there. Uh, oh, Elpels was, he was at a cloud, or he or she was at a cloud with the lightning. With the lightning. Really throws your ship around when it hits you. Nice and There's rare. Very good. Okay, right. Oh yeah, the hazmat suits, they came out more than once. Uh, Vulture P is space trucking, trying to get the 250 markets trophy on the PS4. Good luck to you, sir. Very good. What else have we got? I'm just reading. I'm reading through everything. Oh yeah, and you got out the well eventually. You were stuck in a well. Oh, this I was weekend. stuck in a well this weekend. Uh, so I was tuning in uh, and joining Plater on his live stream. Um, I can't remember what time we were on. Six. Six to eight. Six to eight. And I was. I forgot my my laptop that I usually use for this. So I was. I was tuning in from home, um, on my very poor laptop, and I, <laughs> it doesn't do sound very well. My headset is not very good. So it's quite funny. Yeah, I was. Uh, everyone said I was stuck down a well, but in reality I was. Yeah. So. And then you got pizza, and they had to lower it down by putting it in the bucket, and just there we go. Uh, Blackjack sixty two has arrived. Just got here. Has Paige sold her soul yet? Well, the crossroads demon I tried to summon didn't turn up, so not quite yet. I'm just going to have to wait and go back at midnight. Is this a reference to the supernatural? supernatural? Yeah. Because that's what you're watching right I've now. I've been watching a lot of supernatural. I figured. I, love I figured it. that was a reference, and next, I've I've watched it too. Next time you see me, I'm gonna have an entire anti-possession tattoo right here. Wow, there you go, everybody. Yep. Um, just oh. you know, just in case. Shan, Will was stuck in a well. Yeah, Did Lassie exactly. come along and alert the friends Will was stuck in there? No, it was me. It was Paige. Lassie's my nickname. <laughs> Paige, Paige, yeah. That's why I dyed just my internally. hair just so I can. Uh, when it gets longer, I'll do the brown undercoat. Oh, the Associated Clarity Satellite. Somebody was really inventive when they named this one. It's clear, isn't it? <sighs> Come on. I, I was trying to make a joke out of that. It's fine. Know. I don't... Uh, get me out of all right. Fine, fine, fine. Get out of here. I can fly myself onto a planet. Thank you very much. Have you got to go down there? Yeah. It's funny. Every time I try You've and do this... You've got no shields. No, I never need shields. Stephen freaks out every time because he's like, I'm going to crash. And I'm like, it's fine. I've... I'm, yeah, I know. I know. Um, Venka8787 says, what about crossplay, at least on consoles? It's very exciting, I think, yes. what games are doing with crossplay. We've it's seen it with with quite a few now. Yeah. Um, we are following, we're following that with, with keen eyes. We've yes. got nothing to announce about it, but um, if it's later down the line something that we could embark on, we'll certainly look to explore it. Yeah. It's still in beta for a lot of projects, so mm -hmm. yeah. it's not sort of been widely released for all projects at the minute. I'm going to try and readjust this. Okie dokie. Oh, Stephen's watching. Oh, he's heard me bad talking him. Whoops. If you blow up, it's your own fault. It's fine. I'll send I feel a... like he's waving his hand like oh, this. I'll send a Rougarou over him. I heard you assassin him on the last launch. When, when, uh, when I get into fandoms, I get into fandoms pretty well. The so. thing is, Paige, I haven't seen the show for years. I haven't seen it since university. It's all right. Don't that was me... a long time ago. Don't worry. I'll discuss Lucifer instead. It'll be fine. No spoilers. Oh, all right. Uh, Red and Altmus, so since you mentioned Steve, what's what's he up to? Oh, Steve. I, I guess you mean Steve Kirby. He's oh. he's here. He's around. He is. He's hard at work being oh. ginger. <laughs> that's not why. That's <laughs> Wasn't not quite why. what I was going to say, but that's what came out of my mouth. So I meant to be like, he's hard at work. He's ginger as usual. But instead, nope, he's it's, hard he's at work being, being ginger. ginger. It's a very tiring thing. That's why I tend to change my hair every couple of months. It's difficult being ginger. I mean, your hair colour does change quite frequently. Well, um, it was the green quickest last week. one green, yeah. yeah. 
I miss I miss the green. It was awful. It was not good. It wasn't that bad. It was good. The rose gold's nicer. But to be honest, I'll probably get bored of this in about three days and do it orange or blue or something. I don't know. Daniel Drake says, Hi, Will. How are you? How I'm are Will. You? How are you? Sweet. I'm well. Look, I'm well. Look, no trouble at all. No trouble at all. I'm just going to go land myself down here. Can't see anything. Doesn't matter. Don't need to see. I'm going to do some checking for a moment. My gosh, how dare you? So, do excuse me, everybody. He's typing things. Other way around. Is it? Yeah, not that one. You won't go, Sally, go. Okay, I was just checking because <laughs> Shan, uh, Shan posted in the, in the chat and I wasn't sure if anyone was aware yet because um, I haven't seen it because I've been super busy. But if you're not aware, yes, um, Sally is is departing for new adventures. Yeah. Uh, we will try to get her on a live stream, Shan, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's going to be possible. She is going to be incredibly busy. Yeah. yeah. But we'll see what we can do. Yeah. I mean, it's it's sad for all of us because we love Sally, but it's also great for her. Ah! It's an exciting. Oh God. She's there she here. is. No, we don't like Sally. How no, dare she? Honestly, that's a damn pretty woman. What's she doing? Um. So yes, I Sally, I've just announced it because <laughs> Shan put a comment in and I was like, uh, how do you know that? Is that out? It, and I hadn't oh. actually seen. That's all. Oh. So I, I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when. Um, there we go. Uh, no, Sally's been here for over four years. Four years, yeah. Yeah. Um, she just, uh, she didn't, well, she started this position about six, seven months ago. Why am I oh, trying no, to land even sideways? Longer, even longer than that, almost yeah. a year. Almost Excuse a year. Oh, oh no, oh no. What am I doing? Paige, you're making me look like a good pilot. <laughs> God, that's difficult. <laughs> <clears throat> That's all right. I just uh, I decided to get stuck backwards. We'll get there. Hold on, I'll just uh, beep. There beep, we go. So beep, so do beep. do head over to Sally's uh, Twitter page and um, say nice things. Yeah, I blame I blame Sally because uh, I was distracted by her comment and then I nearly crashed. Shan, Shan identified beep. that as well. He's on your side. Beep. She's ex she's leaving to pursue an exciting career in Type Nine racing. Says Scorpius. There She's go. not going to Bethesda, I don't think. No. Uh, but um, I'm sure that's that's up to Sally to explain all of that. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's great. Okie dokie. And Rimorsky. she's put some pictures of us. Uh, wow. Well, that's all right. You're looking at the pictures while I fail to I'm, dock. I'm in most of them. Uh, Me and Sally don't spend any time together. You just tend to pop up wherever there are cameras. That's true. What are oh, there's there's even a picture of me trying to paint Warhammer outside in the garden, which lasted all a minute, yeah, two minutes. Before you went back inside. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look! I finally docked. Will and the pictures. What are we doing, Will and Paige? Uh, well, I am currently failing to dock on the planet. Um, I am making money to buy a crate mark too. Pretty simple. It's simple. Not simple. Are you going to get it this live stream? I don't think so, but I will just keep making money. Just keep. Swimming, as they Just say. Just keep swimming. Hey, look, there's, look at an, that. there's right. an extra million. Very nice. Do you have a target amount of credits that you're going to I want to get to about 50. 50, OK. Yes. Okay. And then I can sell the ship that I've currently got. That's only one or two. It's not much. but It is a very popular ship, the Crate Mark II. It's a very to say. nice ship. It is a very nice ship. I've been discussing with the chat when I've been on, saying, you know, do I get the Phantom or the Mark II? And, you know, I think it's the Mark II we're going for. It's a, yeah, you could always swatch, swap, swap, swap swatch it out. them around, S yes. Swap it out. What have you like? <sighs> Jiraja. I don't want to kill things. That's more Stephen's thing. Yeah, don't kill things. I don't want... Oh, that we ooh. reserve that right for Stephen Benedetti. Hmm. Hmm. No, I do need an SRV for this one. No, I'd rather have cargo space. Go for it. You take it. Nope. These are all. Oh, so you you don't mind the planetary ones because I try to avoid those at, <laughs> at most times because I always end up crashing. Yep. Uh, it's all right. You just you kind of have to do like a circle around to get down to the middle point. I tend to find that's the best way to do it. It's just bank around until you land. Um, Button Pusher uh, asks, have you reviewed the comments on said videos and the likes and dislikes? We do look at all of that stuff. Yes. Uh, so do bear in mind we all uh, we take that feedback on board. Wanook Lupinski. 
Nook. What's his name? Nook. Never mind, I, I don't know what you're talking about. This one's made to go to Wunuk Lupinski Oh, Sikunet. okay. I thought you meant him, and he's like, his name's Patron mm. Ward Bolton. <laughs> or Ward. Yeah, Ward, Ward Bolton. Bolton. <sighs> Ward Bolton. My gosh. He sounds like... He it. sounds like he's from the Dreadful. Sounds like an Imperial. Yeah. It's an Imperial. Everyone's got too many tattoos here to be Imperial. Yeah. Uh, but they are, because you're doing, you, you're getting Imperial missions now. Oh, right. Here, look, we'll see, see, to... see. see? Pages secret these, Imperial person these like are me. The, uh, well, no, actually, if they're going to pay me, I'll, I'll do their job, pretty much. It's Litany asks, Will, Paige, what are your number one go-to ships that you just love to fly? Cobra MK4. Cobra MK4. Asp Explorer for me. There you go. That's my most, most used ship, the Asp Explorer. It's my trusty one. Uh, Tokuso says, is there a voice acting stream on Thursday? I thought I saw something. <gasps> yes. There is. Yes, there yes. is. I'm very excited. Uh, so, yes, on Thursday, myself, uh, Paola Velasquez, uh, you've got Amelia Tyler and mm. Joe Britton as well. We are all going to be there on our lovely sofas downstairs talking about the importance of voice acting in video games, how voice actually makes it into video yeah, games, how fun. does it technically work, you know, how does a character get created, all these sorts of things. That's good. So we're going to be covering as much of voice acting as we can. There we go. Right, well. The Honey Thief says, I awoke this morning at 4am in a cold sweat shouting, Ed, bring back Ed. Then I remembered it was all a dream. And then I remembered it was real. My pillow became saturated with tears. Thunder bellowed outside. The cat remained indifferent. <laughs> you should go and look at Sally's Twitter page, The Honey Thief. <laughs> Well, I'm just contributing to the story. <sighs> okay. There we go. Uh, best ship is t Type 9, says uh, Scorbius. I like the Type 9. I'm a big fan. What's your favourite Starport interior type? Um, the shiny ones. You know, the ones where I'm not scraping along the side. So none of them. None of them. <laughs> What's your favourite? My favourite are the asteroid. Uh, oh, they are cool. Stations. Those those stations generally are awesome. I don't really see them that often. Right. Up we go. Flying. Well, it's not sky. hurting at all, says Sally. Nah, he's fine. Mostly. You it's, fine? I'm fine. Yeah. I'm all right. Cool. He's fine. It's Monday, so I'm a bit sleepy. Yes, I am very much sleepy as well. Also, these chairs ears, are really bad for my yeah, arthritis. My ears are getting really hot in that. Yeah, why are you still wearing those? Well, you can, you can hear the sound and it makes it, it just makes it very clear. I don't know. <laughs> Generally with headphones, you can hear sound, darling, yes. They're amazing. <laughs> they are have good a, ones, If you actually. don't have any. Well, are they DT770 Pros? I like them. I can't see it on here, but... You can literally hear pins drop and it's deafening. Hi, we're live in the sky. We're above the cold. We're in the cold 285 sector TT dash H C10 dash 17 system. Woo, bubblehead. Welcome. Welcome. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Back to you. Back to Stephen and Sally in the studio. <laughs> we're going to cut to them right now. We're not. Imagine we had loads of that cameras. That would be set up amazing because it would mostly be Stephen just sat there laughing at something and going, what? <laughs> Yeah, he's like, what, what? Oh, what no. Oh, I did the thing again. The best station interior is no, by far. No, no, I don't want to glide. Yes, oh, abort the glide. Or stations with the pink neon and palm trees, just wonderful. Ah. Sally, oh, jeez. Good times. <laughs> okay, right. Will is being silly and distracting I'm me. I'm looking at stuff, I'm looking at stuff. Which it's is why good. I keep flying wrong. I'm going wow. to look through this stuff. No, stop looking through that stuff. I know we're on a live stream, I just want to see it. I... Professionals. I'm... cool. <laughs> there we go. The there heck we, is going on the, today? Oh, it's Very, a classic it's a, Monday. It's a, it's a Monday. It's just a classic Will Monday. Monday. Will is wearing the, an inappropriate sweater. He is, he is. It would be inappropriate if I showed you, but it's inappropriate. No, I my um, so it's important to note that over the weekend my my torso um, and legs were vaporised, so now I'm floating. Prove it. See. 
now he only bears the emblem of the rat, the ones that took his torso. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Commander Rini's seen the news. I don't know if the honey thief has yet. Uh, Will you need space legs, clearly? Well, no, he's preparing himself to get into his ship, obviously. Yeah, I'll just go into my ship. Yeah, it's fine. I'll never leave again. Okay, there we go. <sighs> I assume Will had become the Matrix. That. How do you become the Matrix? Uh, you you plug yourself into it, don't you? Yeah. Aren't you aren't, well, first we need to invent the robots that take over. Has anyone actually seen the Matrix? I mean, I hope you had by, have by this point. Y yes, all of them. Because it's long overdue, if you haven't. Y yes, all of them. Like, um, multiple times. But you, we need to invent the robots that turn us into batteries. So you want to invent the Sentinels? That's the one, yeah. Okay. So we need but to invent those. But first you those. need to create, you know, the Maker, and you need to make the Prophet and But the you Oracle. don't really hear about that stuff, do you, till, like, the later ones? I'm only going off the original yeah, but one. The, the first one. Yeah, but the robots didn't make themselves. No, I know that, but we need to get to that point before Somebody I can be in the Matrix. Somebody needs to make the Matrix. Has anyone seen The Matrix, like, in the world? <laughs> Have you seen it? I've seen it. <sighs> Matrix is shown, at every <laughs> is shown at school every morning, right? Uh, that would have been amazing if it was. Has to, no, we do not have any word on an Orthrus bobblehead. What, what's an Orthrus? Orth, Orthrus bobblehead. Uh, is this the, I don't know, is this, is this something to do? Some kind of cheese? No, it's not cheese. Oh. It's not a cheese. It sounds like a cheese. Paige, it's not a cheese. Oh. It's, it's, it's anyway. getting close to lunch. It's when we start talking about food, food. honestly. <laughs> um, there is a question here from Robert Phillip. What's with so many people leaving FDEV lately? Very odd. It's it's probably really important to know um, because this thing, this, this can always happen when people announce they're leaving, especially those who are quite embedded with the community. Yes. Um, that everybody's leaving. Ah, it's not quite the case because no. we have a lot of people joining as well we um, have over 450 colleagues two years ago when we were still doing these streams on a monday yeah. we had 200 so we're growing we've, grown we've gained a lot. lot and you know we've um sally herself she's she's very involved in the community and that's awesome so i think it's only right that she would Whee! announce announce that she's leaving for for brighter horizons for herself um but don't worry, because there are, there are other people who are getting involved. We'll, we'll be, I don't know if we're allowed to say it. We're gonna, nope. I'm going to say it. But, uh... Danny will be taking over. Oh. I need to put a leash on you. That's fine. It's not a spoiler. <laughs> don't know if it's announced anywhere. I don't know. It's not. But Danny's, Danny's, a, Danny's a good chap. I think he's, he's got wonderful. Sally's endorsement. Yes. So you'll, you'll see... You'll, you'll hopefully see him very soon. We'll grab him onto a live stream. Yeah, He seems much. keen to be on one. So there you go. He doesn't have Sally's hair, though. No. He doesn't have Sally's Sally. You hair. do know that you are required by law to give up your hair when you leave, because Danny needs it. Yeah, he, we we can't use the, the clippings from Little Willie. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, by the way, you still need to fix his face. Uh, he doesn't have Sally's hair, but it does have her endorsement. Uh, so, what is Danny? <laughs> what Who is, is a Danny? Danny? Uh, Danny How is, is a Danny? Product manager, and he's sort of going to be. Uh, stepping into the high heels of Sally. <laughs> I don't know if that makes If he doesn't take over his first day as elite product manager wearing Sally's heels, I'm going to be super disappointed. Well, we can feed that back to him. Oh, yeah. There you go. The funny thing is... Uh, well, honey thief, I don't, I don't know if it's always the case of that, but yeah. Uh, there, are, there are lots of motivations for new people work, grow so and things. change over their lives, they and they want to learn and try different things. They do. It's just that simple. I mean, I, I pleaded and tried my best to keep Sally here, but she wasn't having any of it. So um, I'm going to lash out. That's why I'm not here for her leaving <laughs> and going away. Can't deal with it. Um. Three, 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 four, four says like, likes the new plant. I like the new plant head bobbleheads. But could you make a picture frame bobblehead in which you can place a personal picture? That would be good. I'll pay twenty k arcs for it if needed. Uh, I'll certainly feed it back. Jeez, we will. I, would, I wouldn't pay twenty k arcs for a real photo frame, honestly. I would. That's an expensive photo frame. 
But yeah, that'd be cool. I think of it. If not, what you can do is just print out a picture and glue it to your monitor. Close enough. It's not quite the same, though, is it? It's close uh, I, I, enough. I hear what 3344 is saying there. And I'm offering an alternative. <laughs> the, the, the kind of quick fix solution to that one. I have the uh, I, I I have the sort of chaotic evil approach to things. I want a taxi license bobblehead with my commander's head on it for passenger missions. Oh, no! I'm afraid we're not doing uh, minions from hell bobbleheads. I'm afraid. Ooh, ooh! Sass. It's all right. It's scorb. It's scorb. It's, scorb. it's, it's scorb. fine. It's scorb. Sass scorb is fine. You're allowed to. The community manager endorsement on um, sassing Scorb is, is allowed. <laughs> we usually blame Scorb, so, you know, or TJ, or, or, you know. Mark Thomas says, how do you get a job in Elite Dangerous? How did you get, how did you start Frontier, Paige? All right, well, so I worked uh, at, I worked in retail at a place that shall not be named because it gives me nightmares still. Um, but I, I learned a lot about uh, computing and I learned a lot about PCs and building machines and uh, tech and all mm -hmm. this kind of thing. And my husband works, well, worked in the games industry. And I was like, maybe that would be a good choice. You know, I know lots about games and computers. Maybe that would be a good choice. So mm -hmm. I had a look around. Uh, and my husband worked for, for Jagex and they didn't have any positions and I was like, well, what, what else is there in Cambridge? And it was like Frontier and I was like, I swear I remember them having a dog game I played when I was a kid, like maybe that would be uh, good. Yeah, and so uh, I looked up and I was like, oh yeah, Dog's Life, I remember that, that was a fun game. I don't remember much of it, just what the dog looked like, but it was close enough. And so I was like, they've got a customer pos uh, support position coming up, so I'll apply for that. And I went through a couple of interviews for all that. And then they were like, yeah, you're hired. And it was on my sister's birthday. And I was like, sweet, kids, we're celebrating me now. Um, <laughs> I'm taking the glory of this my one. My huh? time. So uh, yeah, so I got uh, a place with the customer support team. And it was really just using skills that I picked up from elsewhere in, in the world. Yeah, absolutely. And like, just sort of applying what I already knew and what I was passionate about into, into work. And then uh, a lot of you will have known me as Commander Normandy, and I was in the tickets, and I did a lot of the social stuff. And from that social stuff, I had uh, Zach and Ed walk up to me one day, and I was like, oh, God, no, what have I done? And no, they both I'm walked up, trouble, and, they, and they were like, can we have a word? And I'm like, oh, God, no. Were you, were you, did you think you'd done something wrong? Yeah, I had no idea what I'd done, but I was racking my brain like, oh, no help. And they, I walked in, and then they were like, hi, do you want to apply for a job? And I'm like, Yes, but could you not scare the crap out of me first? It's like, yeah, no, we have to tenderise you before you can apply. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so I applied, and they liked my work, and then I came and, walk, and worked with the, uh, with the community team as, yeah. a, as a junior the social media manager. And then I got promoted two months ago, so now I'm a full community You're manager. full community manager. And uh, yeah, pretty much passion. Like I didn't, I didn't go to university ever. Mm -hmm. I just there was nothing I wanted to study, so I was like, I'm not going to pay that much money for, for absolutely you're nothing. Not sure, yeah. Uh, and I essentially just went straight into work when I was 18 as a temp at game, which I really loved doing. Mm. That was a great job, and just uh, carried on from there. Just kept doing stuff I liked essentially, but. The, I think the main thing is if you want to work in games, you do not have to study to work in games. You just have to know you want to get there and yeah. keep learning stuff that will put you in the right place. Skills that can be applied to all sorts of situations. They yep. can be carried across different different industries and different disciplines. Uh, Denmark saying, amazing multitasking, storytelling and landing. Thank you. I've had to, I had to learn one of these things. Uh, I nearly didn't land, I realised at one point. But that's okay. <laughs> what about you, Will? How did you get in the games industry? Um, well, as Shannon rightly says, uh, Ed saw me walk walk down the street, threw a bag over my head, tossed me into a black van and put me in front of a computer and said, here you go. Uh, did you know that that wasn't Ed? It was me in an Ed suit. Uh, 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 oh I'm my freakishly God. strong for a small it's, person. It's, my world is crumbling. Um, yep. How did I get into it? I can't really remember anymore. No, I can. Well, no, it was the, the knock on the head from the van walls. I... <laughs> <laughs> it was the, yeah, all the fumes, all the, what is it, chloroform. Uh. No, um, that takes actually 30 minutes to work. Don't ask how I know that. <laughs> I won't. Nope. I know lots of weird stuff about random stuff. If you keep leaning that way, you're going to break your neck. Oh, it's just me. All right, guys, today we are playing Elite Dangerous. Right, I'm trying to look for some stuff to buy and sell in other places to make money. Can I come back now? Yeah, okay. 
Oh, yeah, uh, Honey Thief says, listen, Ed's suit, yeah, so what you have to do is you have to go to H&M, buy the smallest jumper they have, then oh, wash it no. in hot water, make it smaller, then Page. cover it in the scent of patchouli, uh, wrap it up with some asparagus, put it in the oven for 30 minutes, and then you put that on and you're sorted. Don't forget some guy liner. <laughs> and I hope he can't defend himself here. No, he can't, which is even funnier because then he's going to text me later like, what? <laughs> I should take these off. <laughs> Does anyone else's ears just break then? <laughs> I'm putting them back on. I'm a glutton for punishment. Uh... Let's go. Um, how, right, back to the back to the original question. <sighs> I worked. I did social media for a recruitment company. Um, and then I said, I like what I'm doing here, but I want to do it in something that I have a bit more interest in. I was not that passionate mm -hmm. about recruitment, but the job itself was really cool. Uh, and then I applied for a job uh, through England. Couldn't really find anything uh, that it was that vicious cycle of you need more, you need more experience, but you need to get the experience. Yeah, thing. that is annoying. That's one of those, those, those cycles. And then eventually I found a job in France and I was like, yeah, I can't speak French, but let's go. And then I worked <laughs> in France for a couple of years. Uh, in, in video games, and then I ended up here, at this place. You did? And there you go, the rest is history. And I remember your first date, because Ed was on holiday. That's and right, so he was we in just Japan, framed a picture of him, and I put it on his desk staring at you. <laughs> yeah, that was, I, I that remember was really funny. meeting him in the interview, and I'd, 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 I'd <laughs> met with Bo previously, yeah. but I had no idea uh, where Ed was at this point. I, I didn't realise he was away. I think. No, so you, you kind of just got thrown at me, me and Dale actually. Yeah. And there was, yeah, there it was a little while poor Dale left. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and I just put a picture of Ed on his desk and was like, you got any questions, ask me, but look at the Ed picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ed. And then it was like Paige's Hello. voice. <laughs> This is weird. Strange times. Uh, we did make a cardboard Ed a few times, didn't we? Uh, there were many, yeah. many occasions. Uh, right, moving on <laughs> from the strange uh, thing we've gone down. Uh, Paige is, is a Bond villain, <laughs> or a blonde villain. Oh! I do have yeah. two cats for, you know, different lighting situations. Yeah. One black, one brown, you know. Just not a white cat, which is the evilest No, of my mum had a white cat, but uh, the problem with cats, or white cats, is they often uh, have disabilities. Yeah. Because albino brings along with it uh, either blindness or deafness. Oh, no. Unfortunately, um, Wilson, who was our white cat, was deaf, but then she just didn't look at anything anyway, so she's practically blind. Strange So blind and deaf? No. No, she wasn't actually blind. She just didn't pay attention to anything. Oh. Well, yeah, you're not using those senses that... Yeah, but yeah, be... she was she was deaf. Um, <laughs> Turchin's seen that neck thing you've got when he's animating. You need to open the edit tab and uncheck hide in a mesh. So, Stop. <laughs> the thing is though, Turgeon, um, this is this is not because I've got a green t-shirt on. It is. It's because I, my, my, my body was vaporised. My body was vaporised over the weekend. That's all. But um, I, will, I will also look into what you're saying. I mean, I, I knew, I full well knew I was going to be on a live stream this That's morning and I still put the shirt on. Because <laughs> I was like, I really want to wear this shirt. Whereas I full well knew I was going to be on the stream, dyed my hair green, realised that was a bad decision and changed it back. <laughs> uh, will... Will you be getting your body recondensed in time for the next stream? When um, is your next stream? When is my next stream? Yeah. It is in. It's in two weeks. No. Three weeks. No, Three it's weeks. It, no. I'm, it's next next week, isn't it? No, you're not here next week. I'm here. I'm not here this week, but I am back on Thursday. By Thursday. Ah, who knows? So Somebody there'll be, be a stream. I'll be on one of them. My body won't be recondensed in time anyway. Uh, it'll have sort of stretched up to just, just below the chin. <sighs> it's weird, isn't it? It's like floating head. I, I've actually just, I've got the hands, I'm like Rayman. So I've got the hands, they float <coughs> around me. Um, but this is just, this is <sighs> attached to the chair itself. And then you so have to just... knock down those annoying tomatoes and they just hit you in the face. Oh, worst. That's a very specific reference to, to, to Rayman. Rayman was great. Tomatoes, not great. Weird fairy lady, not great. Not <laughs> um, the Honey Thief says, can confirm Will's body was vaporised. I worked on the biomechanical replacement. I nicked his heart from the motor of a spare game of Buckaroo. I had it laying around. Also, your WD-40 is 
is here. He doesn't take WD-40, unfortunately. Uh, what you need to do is go to McDonald's, go to the back of the fryer, and just sort of ladle that in. Oh, that sounds horrible. Well, you lost your body, not me. Uh, Sebastian says Will won't get any more paint jobs as he fell into one <laughs> as a child. Uh, yeah, whenever a green paint job is released, we kind of just put Will on a roller and roll there him up go. and down, and then we go. Also, I won't, I won't get any more paint jobs because I gave all of them away. You did. On Plato's you live did. stream. So now. You're going to have to work some overtime for those, mate. So, yeah, I am. Um, get paid in paint jobs here, so <laughs> I use my own paint uh, jobs. To <laughs> that would be a dark dystopia, wouldn't it? When is the next feature, Commander? It is this week, and I can tell you it is a gentleman called Stuff by Nick. Stuff by Nick. Stuff Film, by Nick. That, that's films by Nick as well, That right? is also films by Nick, and it's also uh, Nick who does all the very strange elite songs. It's going to be very interesting. No. Ah! Excuse me. Well, there you go. That's that's that one. Uh, Vulture P won one of those. Thanks, Will. Yes, well done to you. Um, Babecon Pool Party <laughs> 2020 is going to be weird. Says Catlin. I was going to say that's in like two. No, it's next year. Oh, that's no. in two months. Ah. No, it's not. What? Oh, no. oh, How's this it? money? Because I haven't really been paying it's any it. attention to the game page. It's I'm going to be honest with you. Neither have I. To be honest, <laughs> I have. He's an but, autopilot. Yeah. Well. I'm just uh, flying around. Uh, I bought some commodities and I'm selling them now. I'm going to pay attention. Okay. Here, I got gold. There, 100k I love profit. Gold. Sell! Uh, there you go. I'm making money. Shan, when, when are we going to know about that? Because you say out soon. Can you give me an exact. Could you give me an exact uh, release date, please? William. What? <laughs> <laughs> I recognise your tone. I was just having fun. Yes. I was hey, trying look at that. Three hundred and twenty-five k for this. System. That's okay. You weren't trying to empathise. You were trying to sass. I was not sassing. I was empathising. I got excited. All right, I'm going to buy you a dictionary and show you what certain words mean. <laughs> yeah, Lavecon has nothing to announce at the present. All right. Okay. Fine. I'll wait. Make sure you I subscribe to their social media channels and forums, and then you will be able to find out when they know. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm going to <laughs> stop this conversation right now, <laughs> I think. Great. Now now I'm sassy. Brilliant. You're always sassy, though. Yeah, I know. Paige Sassy, sassy Harvey. When I was be, born, like, I had to roll a bunch of traits and, you know, one of my perks came out as sass. <laughs> and, uh, you know, one of my, you know, problems was arthritis, so... Oh, well. You win some, you, you lose some. some. <laughs> it's the balance. It's the great yeah. balance. The Honey Thief says Paige is spicy today. Paige is spicy every day. I'm just not on the stream every day. Just not on, yeah, hey, <laughs> you have to sit behind her and Honestly. receive spice. Every do, you, time. do you like spicy food? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. I actually, um, when I was younger, I managed to burn out some of my uh, taste buds. Oh, God. Because I was so into spicy food. I ate it so much, I just don't taste neutral food anymore. So people are like, try this, it's so, so such a lovely, and I'm like, it's water. I can't it taste it. It tastes like water. Yep, can't taste nothing right now. Sass <sighs> detected. These people just want me to kill other people. I don't want to kill other people, I just want your money. You're not, are you a combatant? I'm not a combatant, not I'm a... in a shieldless type 6. <laughs> what do you expect you me to do with this? Silly just roll over the people? Combatant. I'm not a wooloo. <laughs> uh, you could... Fine. You could maybe, you know, go there and vulture stuff. You're like a vulture, aren't you? Yes, but at the minute I don't have a ship that can survive vulturing stuff. You remember what I told you with the low temperature diamonds? I remember that well. Yes, I got blown up, so I need a decent ship. So you're, that's why you're getting the crate. That's why I'm getting the crate. It it's fine, I've made two million. Sense now. Ah, it all makes sense now. Fine, fine. Right, no, this station's rubbish. We're going somewhere else. Oh, you've. Yeah, I'm not even picking anything up. They got nothing. They had a load of bio waste, didn't they? Yeah, I don't want to take the poop. I'm not hauling poop. Tell you what. There's no shame in that. It's an honest living. <sighs> it's an honest living. Here, we're going to the place that I have actually uh, bookmarked. Why not go mining? Because I do not want to. There you go. Wow. I literally I don't want to. On my world. personal account, I'm just doing the things that I want to do. And what I want to do is get the money to buy the ship, and then I'm going to go and look after the ship. I will need a ship name, though. It's Scavenger. So I need to Do you to want know. to take names now or yes. when you get it? I'll take names. Um, 
Keep suggesting names. Keep suggesting names for pages scavenging ship. So it's it's try and think that as a theme. It is yep. going to be scooping up stuff that belongs to other people. It's a crate mark too. I'm going around picking up stuff that people drop. You know, uh, no, not exclamation mark ship name. Someone has to haul it, or it just piles up and makes a mess. As it's obvious about bio waste, yeah. it's true. If I call it the Womble, I might get a uh, cease and desisted by Soviet. So I'm not going to do that. Well, they can we have? We've got clap trap, clap litter trap. picker, litter pick, pooper scooper, pooper scooper, Jack, grabby hat. I look like a fly grabby with these glasses. Womble, bloody Ooh. imperial. Any old iron. Why does everyone keep saying the Womble? The magpie. The magpie is quite magpie's good. Magpie is pretty good. Any old iron, any old iron, any old iron. I think they're doing the Womble scavenger Bring out your dead. All right, um, there you go. The peacekeeper. I know the bring out your dead bit doesn't actually go on the end of that reference. It's just something my dad used to do. <laughs> Shippy McShip face. <sighs> peacekeeper. We're not punny enough, guys. We're not we punny more, enough. We need wow. more puns. Thank you. In the theme of sal salvage, the HMS, Seeker it's free real shinies. estate. I like it's free real estate is good. Seeker of Shinies, I quite like that. Uh, Seeker of Shinies. Khajiit has Wales. There you go. The Honey Thief knows you so well. Yep, that is pretty good. Which is... Depto and Son. No, no, that's that's an old reference. The Grasping Goddess. No, uh, that, well that one's okay actually, but... No, no. My favourite is still It's Free Real Estate. Uh, no. It's free real estate. No. No. Well then. I've not seen any supernatural references, so I'm quite disappointed right now. If you know supernatural folks, anything to do with the Harvey, Harvey Harvester. Harvester. That's pretty good. I'd eat at that restaurant. The Hungry Hippo, also quite good, and Hungry my nickname in secondary school. Wow. <laughs> The things Self you learn. The things <laughs> you learn in here on these live streams. It wasn't, but if you can't laugh at yourself, you can just cry instead. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, sorry, people. Your... I made myself laugh way too much. I actually can't hear anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be. I'll be frank with you. I can't hear anything. Uh, Can you be Will? I don't want you to be Frank. No, I'm being frank today. <laughs> All day. Uh, <laughs> Gold digger from Lee. No. Uh, oh, sorry, from Orange Phoenix. That one's I don't think that's the name. Yeah, no, it's, it's one of the better ones. The Iron Man, the Banana Stand, Enterprising Enterprise. It's free real estate. Uh, no, I'm not going after real estate. If I was going and stealing stations, then yeah. HMS Catnapper. That was pretty good. And then I can just put a wink as the uh, as the sort of ship call tag. Yeah. Winking cat. Winking cat. Which is a reference. Yes. To so, a Sagittarius I story. Well, actually, it was a Gallant story initially. There you go. Yes. Did you try and wink? Do you, cats when they close their eyes? Isn't it a sign of? Isn't it a sign of they trust you? So when, when cats, like that? so what they do is cats they stare into your eyes, and then they really slowly close their eyelids and then slowly open them again. That means they trust you. Or if they roll over and show you their belly, it's essentially oh, saying, yeah. I give you permission to disembowel me, which means we're friends. <laughs> That's how I make my friends too. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, d have you seen the video? I need to send it to you. Has anyone seen this video? It's of like some weird sound thing where like a cat le le is sat on it and it's making like these really soft meditation like tunes. I'm going to send it to you after oh, this. Oh, that sounds fun. It's, it, I'm describing a video is the worst <laughs> thing you could possibly do, but it's amazing. And I want a cat just for that. Uh, I don't oh. think you even need a cat for it. But The belly cool. thing is the initia initiation into the seals as well. There you so go. Orf. I guess you, that just sounds like a really weird thing on Discord. Show us your belly and then you can join. <laughs> but you do you. No. Mine's invisible. I have a rat on mine. He does. Um, we've got some more names, Paige. We've got Taken at Face Value, Rag and Bone, The Bag Lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a cat face. Very nice, Honey Thief. I do like that one. Paige's Ultimate Salvage Service. Duh. Bit long. Yeah, so yeah, if a cat does look at you and really slowly blink, you should do the same back to it when it's staring at you. And then, uh, then are you cool? Yeah, pretty at much. At that point. Yeah, cool. I mean, it will still try and murder you, but close enough. 
Well, they will eat you if you, you know. Yeah. Devil trap. Yes, supernatural. There you go. That's what we want. I might just go to the tattoo straight after work. Like, please, just tattoo sigil, please. Right no. now. Yeah, like right now. Are you? So the reason is because you are expecting imminent uh, demonic possession. Yeah, something like that. Have you been? Or rather, I'm planning on summoning a few demons and just don't want them to take advantage. Yeah, because. <sighs> Well, is, is it a re weasel rat? It is a weasel rat. It is a weasel rat, yes. Thanks, science. Face-planted cutter. Yes, thank you, people. I like that one. That, that's better than my ships, though. No, there, there was a time. Surge detected. We won't bring up bad memories, Paige. Stop. You're almost at row. Stop. Should have waited for that one. That's free. Pirate bait? No, because every time somebody tries to interdict me, I escape. I escape from human ones as well. Like Baz several Wolf. commanders have tried to nick me and it's just not worked. Baz Wolf has demon face, devil face, really strange clown face, okay. skull and crossbones, skull face, uh, injured emoji, silent emoji. Sort of skull, a, I think. Skull, shadow and zip face. face, and another zip face. Uh, the clown one does look like you with blue hair. Like that. If you're on <laughs> YouTube, anyway. If you're on Twitter, uh, Twitter. If you're on Twitch, you'll have no it's idea what I'm talking different. about. Uh, because, by the way, we are restreaming on <laughs> both YouTube and uh, Twitch and Mixer, I think. Soul Reaper. Mm. If I was killing people, then yes, Soul Reaper would be the name. Torben says, I played this game like two hours and I don't understand anything. I Can played for two thousand hours, roughly the same. What is it you don't understand? Yeah, tell us. Um, have you tried Excuse me? the new starter experience? Yes. I'm assuming you are if you've just played, if you just started. We also have the pilot's handbook, which is in game. Yeah. Um, might try and get Paige to show you it on the right hand side. Maybe I will. Ah, and oh, excuse bump. me. Get him. Thank you. you. Ah, so we have all the sort of things here. We have our training. Yeah. Got your simulations, you got your challenge scenarios and your videos. They can all help. Yes, very much so. And then we have our codex, which will tell us a bit about ourselves. Uh, session log, you know, what's been going on. Uh, you got your stats, you got your archive, you got your hollow me. Yeah. Uh, so these are all bits and bobs that I've been picking up as I go around, which mm -hmm. is pretty fun. Let's see, current assets. Woof. I've spent a lot on outfitting. Whoa. That's surprising, because I don't think I've ever had... I don't even know that I've had that many credits. Have you got other ships around? No. I have one ship. I only have one ship at a time. Uh, I have, Strange. Oh, look, I have actually done some combat. That's exciting. Uh, notoriety, zero. Yep, I've had a bunch of fines. Whoops. Uh, smuggling, I've smuggled some things, okay, which smuggler. is good. Done a bunch of trading. Uh, I've collected materials, but not really done any mining myself. Again, that's just me scavenging from people. 888 eight, eight systems visited. Yes. Been to plenty of places, done 1,120 hyperspace jumps. Been playing this account for four weeks, five days, 12 hours, and 15 minutes. Selectively. Yep. Uh, 98 missions, bunch of tourists. Da 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 da. I've ejected 72 people into the cold wastes of space. Nice. Yeah, I've not done any engineering on this account yet. No. Nope. Uh, I haven't hired any crew uh, because they, can, well, I just don't want them at the minute. I don't need them. And I've done a little bit of material trading. Uh, but also, that we've got the pilot's handbook, if you go back. Yes. This has loads of information about different things, so it might be worth reading that if you're trying to do something specific. Uh, mm -hmm. As Shan rightly pointed out, asking here on the live streams is also a good idea, too because there are loads of commanders out there yes. who can help. We have the official forums, we have our social media pages. Feel free to get in touch with uh, all the other members of the community as well. Yeah, loads of things. And they'll tell you all the bits and bobs that you need to go and do it, which is pretty handy. How you sell stuff that you've found, you yeah. know, where you can find everything. It's pretty handy because we never used to have this in the game. Yeah. So you'll find bits of everything. So a lot of questions that you have can actually be answered in the game without ever going to you know, an external website or trying mm -hmm. to find a YouTube video. Obviously, you can do that if there's more you want explaining. And there are, yeah, there's a, and there's a, a lot of great groups out there and websites that can help you um, with that. Uh, but this, this allows you to just, if there's something specific you're looking for, you can look into it and find it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a very detailed, because Elite Dangerous is a very deep, deep game. There's so a lot to it. You need to, to kind of dig around for this stuff, so we've put it all here yes. to help. 
And obviously we'll update it as and when there are more things to go in there. Um, we've got a few more names coming through. Catch me if you can. Uh, can of bio waste. Feed me. <laughs> feed me, I quite like. That's a pretty feed good Feed me one. because since you're going to collect stuff left by others, how about ship name? Feed me. That's pretty good. I quite like that. And then you've got your knowledge base as well, which is one of my favourites. Uh, even Raxler, even Raxler, it'll tell you what little there is to be known there about Raxler. But it's in here. Uh, and then, yes, loads of bits and bobs. So these are really fun to read through because there's lots of stuff about lots of different characters. So if you were ever a fan of the, uh, the sort of codexes and things like that in uh, Mass Effect, mm -hmm. you're going to really like going through all these and learning a lot more about the characters that you're going to interact with. There you go. Hello, Malik. Good evening to you. You've joined us three minutes before we're due, due up. Mm -hmm. But thank you for tuning in and saying hello. How are you doing? Hi. But yeah, I like these individuals. Individuals. Yep. Colonial. Um, have we got missions to hand in? Uh, I have already done what You've I need to all. do. So we're, we go. we're, getting, we're getting towards we're getting towards the end now. So Paige, you're, uh, let's see, let's have a look where you're at. You're at 26 million. Yes, 26 you need 24 million. 24 million. 24 million more. And then you're going to buy your crate. And then I'm going to buy a crate. Yes. And then the next, the next chapter begins. Yep. You'll, you'll rename your, your crate. Yes. And you'll go out there and scavenge. Is that the plan? That's pretty much the plan, yeah. There you go. Oh, look, That's there the you plan. go. 1.6 mil. Oh, I get it now. Whee! May as well. There we go. Sorted. That one's pretty nice as well. Hey, look, this one too. Yay! I guess I'm going to Jiraja. Jula? Look at, yeah, I love all of these. Like, this system is great. It gives me missions like this all the time. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, but I don't even need to bother picking it because there's going to be tons more like that when I actually come back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, loads of stuff. All this stuff for Jiraja. Whee! Jiraja. Here we go. Right. Um, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it all up and we'll we take go. these off now. <laughs> um, but thank you, thank you so much for joining us on today's live stream. Thank you, Paige, for yes. um, well the good fun chat <laughs> as always. Uh, so this week, do you wanna do you wanna kind of tell us what's in store for the Thursday live stream? Yes. So this Thursday, myself, uh, Paula, Jay Britton, and Amelia Tyler will be gracing your screens to talk a little bit about voice acting in video games, you know, the technical side of it, the performance side of it, preparing for it, how you actually record, and how you implement sort of voicing and acting into the game. So there it's going to be quite a fun it's, one. It's very exciting. I'm, I'm going to be watching yes. from, from La France. Ah. So I will be tuning in and going, hello, <laughs> and all the best to you on that one. So guys, do, do join us for that live stream. I think it's going to be really fun. It should be fun, yeah. Uh, there are some really fun people involved in that as well. Uh, hopefully, Paige, you'll keep them all under control. Oh, I'm sure I can manage. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, anyway, we will be back uh, on Thursday, and after that, we'll be back on Monday. So yes. have a lovely week, and we'll share more details as soon as we have them about the second patch for the September update. Yes. With that, that is all. Goodbye to you. Goodbye. Bye.